Hello everyone. In our previous videos, we had learned about all the energy sources that are available to us. Then we had understood about them and we had learned the ways to utilize these sources to satisfy our energy needs. We had also seen that many of the sources we are using are causing a damage to the environment in some way or the other. Like if we take the example of fossil fuels like coal and petroleum, they release greenhouse gases on burning. Now this greenhouse gases causes the global warming of the earth and they also causes the changes in the weather cycle. Now it is not that that only non-renewable sources causes damage to the environment. If we take the example of renewable source of energy like hydro energy, we had seen that during the formation of the reservoir, a large area of land got submerged in the reservoir and a large amount of natural habitat was destroyed. So even renewable sources also cause damage to the environment. Even if we take the example of solar cells, solar cells seem to be pretty much clean as they produce no pollution while working. But during the manufacturing of the solar cells, a lot of pollution had already been caused. So we can't say that solar cells are a cleaner fuel. So even the solar cells which appears to be clean are causing a damage to the environment while their manufacturing. So in reality, we can say that no source of energy is absolutely clean. Every source of energy causes little damage to the environment. So we have to decide for any source very judiciously, keeping in mind that it is causing minimum damage to the environment. Now, do you know that the rate at which we are consuming a fossil fuels, the reserves of oil and petroleum is expected to finish maximum by 2060 and the reserves of coal is estimated to end by maximum 2088. So we have to control over utilization of energy resources so that these resources are also available for our future generations to use. 